so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at where we're at! Yeah! Today, we're at the MK Nature Center in Boise, Idaho! Wow! And this nature center is actually part of the Idaho Fish and Game! Wow! Today, you and I are going to learn about some native animals to Idaho! This is going to be so much fun! Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to our visitor center. Wow, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Whoa. Well, how do you explore this place? So what you want to do is you want to follow the animal tracks along the building, and then you want to go outside onto our nature trail and visit outside. Whoa, cool. Binoculars. Wow, well, thank you so much. Of course. Have fun. See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Look at these! Whoa, they look like birds' nests. Wow, there's different types in here. One way up there, and it's really small. Ooh, and one way down here on the ground, but it's really big. Hey, that's interesting. Different types of birds put their nests at different heights. Whoa! Hey, and speaking of differences, look at how neat this one is. Yeah, a bird made that with its very own beak and feet. Whoa! And down here, whoa, this one is made out of feathers. Wow! Yeah, they use their own feathers. Whoa! And this one is really sloppy, <laughs> but it definitely still holds eggs. Yeah, birds use nests like a home. Yeah, they lay their eggs in the nest, and then the birds hatch, and then the birdies can fly. <laughs> Why don't we head outside and maybe later, maybe we'll find a nest. But let's just go explore. <laughs> Whoa! This place is awesome and it's so much fun following these footsteps. <laughs> Whoa, look up there! Whoa, a bighorn sheep! Yeah, I can tell why they call it a bighorn sheep. Yeah, because it has big horns! Whoa! And those are actually horns, not antlers. Yeah, horns always stay with the animal, but antlers, yeah, they shed them every single year. Oh, cool. See ya. <laughs> whoa, speaking of antlers, whoa, look at this elk. Wow, this is a Rocky Mountain elk. Do you see the antlers? They're so big. Whoa, and so pointy too. Yeah, every single year, this elk, yeah, it'll shed its antlers and grow new ones back. Whoa, super cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a grizzly bear. Whoa, and do you see how big it is? Whoa, it's so fierce. Whoa, and I know it's a grizzly bear because it's brown and it's so big. And oh, another sign is, you see that bump on its back? Yeah, they dig so much that then they grew a bunch of muscle. Yeah, and it has a bump on its back. Yeah, and its head, it even has a little ridge. Yeah, like a snowboard jump. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, but these grizzly bears, they're way up north in Idaho. Yeah, they don't come down here near Boise. <laughs> We're safe here. <laughs> oh, speaking of bears, look at this one. Whoa, this is actually a black bear. But it looks like a brown bear or a grizzly bear, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's brown, it's actually a black bear. And black bears can even be brown. Whoa! And they love lots of food. Yeah, they eat meat. Ooh, they even eat berries. They might even climb up in the tree and eat some honey. Speaking of honey, do you hear that? Yeah, I think I hear bees. Whoa, let's follow the footsteps and find those bees. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and look down here. Yeah. Do you see this hole? Yeah, that's where the bees are coming from. Whoa. And those honeybees look like they're just working. And do you see how I'm not getting stung? Yeah, it's because I'm being nice and gentle. I'm respecting them and I'm giving them some space. I just wanted to say, hello. <laughs> All right, see you later, bees. <laughs> Whoa, 
Nature is amazing! Whoa! Look at this! Ooh! Looks like we have some owls! Oh, that's so silly! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun today, aren't you? Yeah! Wow, look at this place! Ooh, looks like a lot of water around here! Whoa, look over there! Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a dam! Yeah! I can tell because there's some water down below. Yeah, and then there's some water up above. I bet some beavers built that dam. Yeah, beavers love to build dams with all those logs and mud and leaves and branches. Yeah, and then they go underneath and then they dig some stuff out and then they make what's called a lodge. Basically like a home. Whoa, really cool. <laughs> Whoa, look over here, some animals. Whoa! Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, those are ducks. Yeah, those are actually mallard ducks to be exact. Whoa! Oh yeah, do you see that one? Yeah, it has a green head on it. Yeah, that is a male duck. And the duck that is all brown, that's a female duck. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, ducks love to swim on top of the water. Yeah, and then some, dive down underwater to catch some food. Yeah, vegetation on the bottom. And then some stay on top of the water and then just tilt and then eat. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Ducks are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Whoa, it looks like a giant fish. Whoa, it is so big. Yeah, this is actual size and this is a sturgeon. Whoa, sturgeons are massive. Whoa, I wonder if I'm as long as a sturgeon. Let me see. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Am I as long as a sturgeon? <laughs> no, it was longer than me. Whoa, this is such a big fish. Yeah, sturgeons love to hang out at the bottom. Yeah, underwater. And then they're actually really really old. Well, not all of them, but they're ancient fish. Sturgeons have been on our planet since the dinosaur times. Whoa, those are some old fish. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find some more fish. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, back there, there's a pond. And then it's full of water, obviously. And there's these glass things right here. So then we can peek underwater into the pond. Come on. <laughs> oh, whoa, yeah. There's fish in there. Whoa, hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, do you see those fish? Yeah, those are called rainbow trout. Whoa, and they're so colorful. Maybe that's why they call them rainbow trout. Yeah, because they look like a rainbow because they're so colorful. Oh, check this out. Whoa, yeah, we have some fish snacks. Oh, they actually gave me permission that I can feed the fish. <laughs> All right, are you a hungry fish? Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. Whoa, they're definitely hungry. Whoa, there you go. Whoa, whoa, look at them go. Okay, here's just a little more for you. <laughs> whoa, there's even a duck up there. Do you see it? Hello, duck. <laughs> yeah, that's a mallard. <laughs> hey, here you go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> whoa, check it out. Do you see this? Yeah, this is a bald eagle's nest. Yeah, it's a replica of the largest one ever found in the United States of America. It is so big, huh? Wow, bald eagles are so cool. They come back every single year to the same nest. 
and they keep building and building and building. Hey, remember earlier how we saw all those other nests? Yeah, it's really cool how every bird has a different type of nest. Oh, hey, will you act like a bald eagle with me? Yeah. Why don't we keep exploring and maybe we'll be able to meet a real bird. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Are you having a great day? <laughs> I am too. <gasps> Whoa, look at what it is. Whoa, hey, who are you? I'm Mariah. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Who's your friend? This is Wilson. Oh, hey, Wilson. Wow, what a cool looking bird. What kind of bird is Wilson? Wilson is a peregrine falcon. Whoa, a peregrine falcon. Whoa, Wilson looks very fast. How fast does Wilson fly? Wilson can reach speeds of 214 miles per hour. Whoa, 214 miles an hour? Wow, that's about 350 kilometers an hour. Whoa, how old is Wilson? Wilson is seven years old. Whoa, seven? So old. Whoa, well, it was nice to meet you, Wilson. And nice to meet you, Mariah. Nice to meet you too, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this has been such a fun day. Whoa, oh, there's a little Tweety bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> cool. Wow, it's been so much fun hanging out in the wilderness with you. Wow, I sure do love nature. Yeah, there's water. Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, and there's some birds. Wow. <laughs> oh. Whoa, cool. <laughs> oh, have you been having fun? <laughs> I've been having so much fun with you too. Wow, I sure do love learning with you. Wow, and we sure did learn a lot today. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here, but hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here <laughs> and then Grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh. Hello, flamingos. Hey. Wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, 
They're the color white? Yeah, gray? Yeah, white is gray. And then, when they get older, they'll turn the color pink. Because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show! Whoa! Another great animal! This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Oh, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Paris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty! Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other 
Hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa, is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Wow, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongue skink. Whoa, she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not, she's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguins. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, 
this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye bye. Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too? Oh. And they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow! Oh! Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, Maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. <laughs> And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, 
check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. And Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, it looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. 
Yeah, she's not even full grown yet, and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orange-ish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Whoa, do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's 
check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello, kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here. Turn around. Whoa. whoa. This is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. Did you see that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks. Um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a fee, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is? Oh, he's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look, the tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa, okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, 
Oh, hello. How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa! Hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah! You two look like your friends. Whoa! Oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Eee, open wide. Here comes the carrot. Whoa. There you go. Is that yummy? Hey. Tortoises like carrots, just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa, you have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch. See, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild, they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Whoa, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah. It is kind of hard, and it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa, okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out! 
this next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Ooh. So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh. Yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. <laughs> they have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, Come there you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it! Look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can, can't. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa. Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yeah. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> But that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Come on. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Whee! Whoa! Hey! Look! 
I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! Hello. See the hump of the camel? They store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Because, like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera. Whoa! This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa. <laughs> hey, whoa, look right here. Oh, hey, there's someone over here. Come here. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Do you want to hold him? Yeah, a horned lizard, that's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. 
Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, knees just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow. Oh. A lion? Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look. <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Hey, look at where I'm at now. Right now, I'm at Cares in Burien, Washington. Yeah. C A. R E S Cares. Yeah. Cares is an animal shelter. Yeah, this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet. These pets need a new home. Let's see what pets are inside. Do you see this dog? Yeah, this is a really small dog. It's kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. Woo, this is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. This is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. That was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, Lino, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa! And playgrounds 
are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> oh, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's gonna feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino. Check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called the groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? There's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Wow. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair and then it trims it. Ooh, this files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, wow. Yeah, these, yeah, these are like scissors. Yeah, but they're actually called shears. Wow, a dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair, really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the the red colored ones. Okay, gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh, <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair. Dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Wow, looks like we have some sanitation spray. So then when Lino's done, you sanitize everything. So then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out, another drawer. Wow, there is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush, but it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These 
are clipper attachments. You put them on the top, and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that? Compared to that. That one's way shorter. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right. So we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> a comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at Lino! They took off so much hair. Look! <laughs> Whoa! This is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly. ears. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Woo. And look at his spooky bandana. <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh. And it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow. All right, Lino. We can go home now. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Whippy!